so for the chin chin as you can see we are using flour and powdered milk and then I'm using eggs and baking powder and full cream milk that's the liquid milk sugar and butter and I'm using the flavored milk it comes in powder and then I'm using nutmeg yeah I'm using no more nutmeg I can grate that one to the seed and then I have the powdered so any one you want to use so first of all I'm adding my baking powder sorry I showed you baking soda in the video but I'm using baking powder not the baking soda and then I'm adding in my powdered milk it will make it very soft and then the flavored milk this is milk flavor it's powdered so I want the chin chin to taste milky like more of milk than sugar so that's why I'm adding di three different types of milk and then I'm adding my nutmeg the powdered nutmeg and then salt just to balance the taste and then I'm putting sugar so this is like two mood of flour but I'm just putting one cup of sugar not even all because I'm making this for an like an old woman like grandma so I had to put less sugar and more of milk I want it to have milky taste very soft so and then after mixing your dry ingredients together you now pour in your wet ingredients which is your butter your eggs and then the liquid milk and then you add water bit by bit you mix it and then you transfer to your mixing table or any work surface you have you can just transfer it there and just combine it together not necessarily kneading you just combine together so that all the ingredients will mix well so this is it this is two modu of flour for this chin chin but if you want a little bit of the ingredients to come out you can double you can double the ingredients i i put in this one so after mixing you cover in a bowl and allow it to rest for like from 20 to 30 minutes so that all the flavors will combine together the milk flavor will come out very well. Just allow it to rest. Cover and allow to rest. So this is like 30 minutes later. And I left mine for 30 minutes. So this is 30 minutes later. You bring it out. You cut it. Flatten on your work surface. And then you cut into desired size you know how our normal chin chin sizes are now like you cut square 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 so that's what i'm doing so don't make it too flat because it will be too thin and then it will dry out very fast so you can just you know allow a few inches don't flatten it too much on the table so you cut and then you fry. So chin chim is very simple to make. I believe so many people know how to make chin chim. If you want to make milk flavored chin chim, you add more of milk. If you want butter flavored chin chim, you add more of butter. Anything you want, the flavor, you now put it more. If you want vanilla flavor, you add a bit of vanilla flavor. 
So that's it. This one I, I, I wanted to make butter and um, this thing, sorry, milk changing. So this one tastes milky. Since I added the powdered milk, the powdered milk flavor, and then I added liquid milk. So at this point, you just fry and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please, guys, like my videos and subscribe to my channel for your support. I beg you, support my videos by liking and watching the other ones. I have other videos uploaded on my page. Please kindly watch so that I'll be encouraged to be posting new videos. Thank you.